Hey folks, I thought I'd shoot a video on if it's safe uh, to heat beeswax directly over a burner, and a burner being an electric burner. I do not recommend you, anyone heat beeswax in their kitchen over their stove. Um, that's just asking for a mess, but um, anyway, I put a small amount of beeswax in here. Um, just enough to show you guys how little heat it takes to melt it and make it workable. And um, then we're going to heat it up to its flash point and show you uh, that. So anyway, I'm going to turn this thing on. And I'm sorry I didn't preheat the oven, but I thought uh, I started to bring out the electronic thermometer, but but I thought, well, when I'm heating beeswax, I never have a thermometer. I just heat it at a low setting, and it melts, and it works. Um, the first video I ever shot was on making t uh, uh, top bar uh, starter strip frames. And I had people comment that that was absolutely not the way to go to um, that that was really dangerous etc 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 we're starting to get the the wax to melt now So, beeswax melts at, let's see, I believe it's 145 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately 145 degrees Fahrenheit. It discolors at 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, you saw a little smoke. Um, this is a really small amount of beeswax. But obviously, if I'm handling this pan with my hand, it's not... Uh... So, we've melted the beeswax. What we're going to do now, I'm going to turn this thing all the way up to high. And we're going to flash it. And I'm going to show you what, what happens. First of all, it's going to discolor when it's heated that high. You've got 250 degrees of leeway before it flashes. And um, the biggest thing is that um, beeswax just doesn't go boom and, and flash into fire. It's going to smoke a lot before it gets to that point. So it kind of gives you a warning that you're overheating the wax. So now I can, it's putting off a good bit of smoke, but once again, notice. Uh, and normally you're, you're heating quite a bit, so this is all very slow, a slow change. But for the purpose of this video, I wanted things to go rather quickly. Um, it's the beeswax still hasn't really discolored except on the area where it's um, there was just basically a thin layer of flash off. Now it's getting really smoky. And waiting for it. Now, by comparison, um, most of your cooking oils have a flash point of about 600 degrees. There's a few exceptions. Almond oil has a very low flash point, and coconut oil is somewhere, I believe it's around 500 degrees. Um, but even that tiny amount, which is smoking considerably now, um, hasn't burst into flames. That's what I wanted you guys to see, is that, that if you heat, I mean, when I got criticism for heating directly, I never even thought about it, because I've always done it. I've never even once thought it was a dangerous or um, 
you know, anything close to being dangerous because this thing, beeswax, really, really smokes as it approaches its flash, uh, flash point. It's, uh, let me see what the... Some people even season their cast iron with uh, beeswax. All right, it's been smoking for several minutes and it's still not hit a flashpoint. It's bowling. I can tell you that that the uh, that the beeswax is now bowling in the pan. You may not be may or may not be able to see that. And. I'm not doing this over an open flame. I don't ever use open flame for heating pretty much, you know. Um, you could heat with a propane heat or whatever, but I don't consider, um, I don't consider that safe because you can have beeswax run down the side of the pan or something like that. And, um, and then you're exposing the beeswax to direct flame, which is not, nothing that you ever want. So right now we're just making my pan really, really nasty. Um, it's got to be about 400 degrees at this point. I'm glad I did not put more beeswax in there because this is taking a while. We're going to add some. Okay, well, she's turned into a tarry, nasty mixture, but um, she didn't catch on fire. She just pulled off all the alcohols and the ethers. Um, anyway, so. <clears throat> um, Putting your beeswax, as long as you put it on low heat, um, I don't know how you possibly could have a fire hazard with, with that particular setup. So anyway, I did this, I wish I could have done it inside, but I did this on the outside because of the smoke factor. And that was my whole point, is that if you, get, if you overheat beeswax, its smoke point is 185 degrees, its melt point is 145, so you got 40 degrees there. Once it starts smoking, you know that you've, you're overheating it. If you back off, you're going to be fine, but if you continue to heat it, you still got 220 degrees to go before it reaches its flash point. So, in summer, yes, it is safe. You do not need to use a double boiler to heat beeswax. I'm sure I'll get some haters out there that's going to comment otherwise, but hopefully this will um, dispel any of that, that false myth. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe.